Uh, today we're having a march uh, for freedom of choice. Just to show that there we aren't just a few, you know, there's, there's, there's quite a few of us that are concerned. That may not be apparent through some of the media. And some people feel isolated in this and want to um, join together and feel a bit of comfort in that. This is not about um, whether you're vaccinated or not. I mean, I know plenty of people are vaccinated and there's plenty of people who come today who are vaccinated. Same thing with masks, you know, if you want to wear a mask today, you can wear a mask. So it's not about that. Um, it's about freedom of choice at the end of the day, you know. It's in support of people who've lost their jobs. I, um, one of the ones in healthcare uh, at a rest home, I uh, lost that position uh, solely because of the mandates. It wasn't their choice, they simply following the mandates from the government, which are unfair, um, illegal. Um, I don't think the majority of New Zealanders would vote in such a thing. We're going the way of um, USA when they segregated the African American people. They weren't allowed into some cafes, they got the dirtiest toilets, they weren't allowed in certain places. They were definitely a lower class citizen. We are going straight into a two tier society vaccinated and unvaccinated. And I totally respect both vaccinated and vaccinated. Love them both. It's just putting a lot of pressure on everyone. Uh, people have to try and find new jobs. Good luck with that. So we need to be just thankful for what we still have and keep our faith. Keep positive, keep supportive, supportive of each other. And a lot of sure. people are very, very scared to speak out. I don't want to be here doing this. This is my hometown. Mm. I'm going to get laughed at. Stuff is going to get said. Whatever. I'm a big girl. If one person doesn't speak up, what about the other thousand?